Hi, in this video, we are going to see about how to download and install MATLAB software from the official website. So first go to any of your browser. I'm going to Google Chrome and type MATLAB. And you can find this www.mathworks.com. So this is the official website which provides the MATLAB software. So just click it. So here you can see this get MATLAB in the top right side. So you can see this get MATLAB here. And also here you can see this get MATLAB. Any of the link you can just click it. I am clicking the link that is available in the top right side. So just click Mat get MATLAB. So immediately it navigates to this page where you need to create an account if you are new or if you already have an account on mathworks.com you can click sign up so let me go to create account first as i am first user new user i'll just create this create account so here it asks for the email id so just enter your email id and then click next And here just click continue anyway so now it has to create a account password so we'll just create an account password so here you can see the account password should contain minimum 8 characters and maximum 50 characters and it should contain at least one uppercase letter and at least one lowercase letter and at least one number in it so accordingly you need to create it after that just enter the same password that you created then click next so now you can see it asks for the verification code so you need to check your email which you are given so i'm given this jp infotech projects at gmail.com so just go to your email so now you can see i have immediately received an email and you can see the the code which i received just copy this again paste this and then click this I accept the online service agreement checkbox and then click next. So now here it navigates to create an account page where you need to enter your name, your last name, your location, so which country you are from. So just select the name of the country which is given in the drop down and uh, select that you are a student or teacher researcher or hobbyist or any of the thing which over your suits let me select student in my case and let me select and once if you are selected student it asks for the department so let me say it's computer science and describe what is your role so you can select postdoctoral or student graduate level or undergraduate level so whichever suits you can just select let me select postgraduate here in my case and uh, and the final thing is like as for are you at least 13 years or older let me select yes and then click next so now you can see uh, it asks for the location of the university so let me the default is india and uh, name of the university or school let me select uh, in my case as Pondicherry University and click next. And now you can see your, it navigates to a page where you can see there are three options given. The so one is get a license. So link your account, your organization license or use MATLAB online basic or 30 day MATLAB trial. So once if you wanted to install MATLAB in your system, you need to use this third option. 
the second option is for using it in online so without installing you can use it in the browser so now we are not going to see about that so in this case we are going to see about how to install in your desktop pc or laptop so here you can see this is 30 day matlab trial so it can be used to only for the 30 days from the date when you are installing so just click this get a trial so this trial is free of course only so immediately it navigates to the free matlab trial page where you can see the uh, details which i ask for the work or universe select the state which you are so as i selected india it asks for the state let me select Puducherry in my case and cts Puducherry zip code and is this request on behalf of a faculty member or research advisor no and year of graduation let me select 2023 and how will use your trial for which purpose you are using let me select image processing and computer vision and let me click submit so after submitting that you can see that welcome to your free trial on matlab and now you can see this install matlab so just click this install matlab button so here you can see the latest version that rai currently is or 2023b so it navigates that on that page and you can uh, you can just see that today's date is 20th september so it says that the trial expires on 20th october 2023 and uh, you can see the download for windows so in case if you wanted for other operating system you can just select this arrow here and you can see it as for the download for mac os that is apple silicon or it is for intel processor for mac os or for the linux you can select so in my case it is windows so now let me select this download for windows so it is around 200 and so here you can see i'm going just downloading the saving in the desktop part and save so here you can see which is around 232 mb so it may take a, a few minutes or second according to your uh, system requirements and internet speed so now you can see the download is completed so uh, you can see the complete file has been downloaded which is around 231 mb and now let us install it so just double click it so it is just extracting So now it asks for the permission in the windows, just click yes. So now you can see the first step is like it asks for the email ID. So we have already created that account. The same email ID you can give here. Let me give my email ID at jpinfotechproducts.gmail.com and then click next. So now it asks for the password. So we'll give the password that you have created during that account and then click sign in. So now it asks for the license agreement. You need to accept that license agreement given here in the terms and condition and then click next. So now it asks for select the license which you are accepted for and then click next. So just asking for confirm the user. So whatever the details that we have given, it has been shown here and then click next. 
so here it asks for the destination folder so here uh, you can just if you wanted to change this it is defaultly taking the c program files matlab or 2023b in case if you wanted to change this location you can just click browse and you can select whichever location you wanted i'm not going to change anything i'm just going to give the default and then click next So now you can come into the important point selecting the products. So here you can see the MATLAB is defaultly checked and other things are unchecked. So there are various toolboxes available for the project purpose. But uh, if you are going to install all the things, it takes more time and uh, space. So whenever you want it, you can install it also. So uh, the uh, I, I require all these toolbox, many of the toolbox here for the project purpose, but I'm not going to install right now. Whenever needed, we can install it because of time consuming. I'm just going to leave the thing default, which is checked that is MATLAB and then click next. So it has to select an option to add a shortcut in desktop. Let me select this, add the shortcut to desktop and then click next. So now it has for the confirmation and here you can see the space which is going to be installed will be around 4.02 GB. So I have not selected any other additional toolbox for that itself it is taken more than 4 GB. So if you are selecting more uh, additional requirements it takes more space so make sure that you have the enough space before installing make sure that you have enough space because after installing it, if it is the space is not required so entire time will be wasted so just make sure that you have the enough space in your drive location and then click this begin install. So now the installation progress is taking place. So it will be downloading all the required files and also installation will be done parallelly. So it takes some time. It varies according to your system requirements and internet speed. So now let me pass this video and come back when the installation is completed and let us check. So the time is around 11 a.m. right now. Let us check the time taken for the installation in my system also. So now let me stop it and come back again. So now it is going to complete it. It is performing post installation task. So you can see the percentage is around 99 percentage. So it almost took eight to 10 minutes in my case. So now you can see the installation is complete successfully. So now let me close this. Now you can see as I have created the desktop uh, shortcut so it is showing this matlab or 2023b in case if you don't have uh, created the shortcut you need to go to the location which you have created and then there you can select it so now let me double click it so you can just it will be opening matlab or 2023b for the first time So now you can see it has opened uh, the MATLAB or 2023B for the first time and uh, you can see the trial use here. So let me run a project which I have already have in my system. So I'm not giving this project uh, details in the uh, description here. So this is the project which I generally have it earlier. So I'm just running it to check whether the project is run, the, the installation is done correctly or not purposefully so don't don't ask me the same project again so this is only for the testing purpose so now you can see the project is executed perfectly which means that the matlab installation is done perfectly so in this way you can just download and install the latest version of MATLAB in my case that is MATLAB or 2023B in Windows operating system and thank you for watching.